friends, Christian here with Brick Life Crisis once again, and today we're taking a look at the Target exclusive Lego minifigure four pack. This was available around the holidays and included four minifigures from various themes. As you can see, we have City, Ninjago, Kaima, and Superheroes. So let's uh, open it up and take a closer look, shall we? All right, and here we have all four figures, starting with, uh, from the Lego City line, we have a scuba diver, and we have Kaima, Superheroes, and Ninjago. Let's start with Ninjago. All right, here we have Kai, the red ninja from Ninjago. Uh, as you can see, he's got a nicely printed torso and legs. And he's wearing a uh, red bandana and black gloves in his otherwise red outfit. He has uh, some gunmetal gray pauldrons on his shoulders, which also act as a backpack that allow him to store his sword. Um, you can see the store sword kind of slides into a slot there. There's a second slot on the other side, so if you had two swords, you could uh, holster them both in a crisscross sort of pattern. Um, all of the figures in this set include stands, but as you can see here, the feet don't attach very well. They're very loosely connected, so um, pretty much any kind of movement uh, will knock it off. It's strong enough to hold if you lift it up off the table, um, but if you try to position him or anything, he just immediately pops off. Um, I wasn't sure if that was the stand or the feet of the figures, uh, but when I placed them on other Lego things like this base plate, it was the same situation. So I'm guessing it's the feet that are the problem and not the uh, the base plate there or the, the figure stand. Um, let's take a closer look at his accessories, shall we? All right, here we have his katana or his samurai sword, whatever you want to call it, ninja sword. Um, fairly common, we've seen these before, um, but it's a pretty good uh, handle there. Um, overall, I think the, the sword is uh, pretty well done, but again, pretty standard. We've seen these before. Um, same with the backpack piece. It's been available on other Ninjago figures, um, but I think it, it uh, serves a nice dual purpose. One, to hold his uh, weapon, um, or weapons if you have plural, um, but I think the pauldrons on the shoulders had a, a nice little uh, bit of extra detailing to the costume. And then the bandana is fairly straightforward. We've seen this piece before as well. Uh, this one happens to be in red, but uh, just does a little uh, bit of face cover-up um, without having a full hood. So that is the accessory set. Now let's take a closer look at the figure itself. All right, here we have Kai. As you can see, he has a, a nicely detailed uh, print there on the uh, front torso as well as his pants. As we turn the figure around, we have some nice print on the back as well. Um, his hairpiece is a little bit different from what I'm used to uh, with Lego figures in that it is, sorry for the focus there, that's terrible. Um, it's a kind of a softer, almost rubbery plastic uh, rather than the hard plastic that we are uh, used to from typical Lego figures. Um, there is no alternative face on this guy, um, but uh, overall he's pretty well done. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at the other three. All right, and here from Lego City we have a diver. Um, based on his coloring it almost looks like he could be a police diver, although there is no um, detailing or insignia that would uh, indicate that, uh, just going based on coloring. However, on the back of him, there is a print, a logo of some sort that almost looks like a, a sea monster or something wrapped around an anchor. So, probably not police. But again, the coloring suggests that he could be, I suppose. Um, he's wearing black gloves and a blue and black uh, wetsuit. As you can see on his torso print there, he has um, a couple of indicators uh, to 
suggest his oxygen level and how much time he's been down, that sort of thing. Um, his helmet and mask um, are well done. There's a snorkel built into the mask piece that can flip up, of course. Um, like the other figures in this set, he is fairly loose on that stand. This guy's a little bit tighter than the Ninjago Kai figure, but not by much. Um, without the helmet, you can get a better look at this guy's face. He's got a little bit of a goatee going on uh, with a kind of a half smile. Uh, there's no alternative face on this figure, um, but uh, overall he's pretty well done. The uh, only accessory, so to speak, that he comes with is his helmet, uh, which includes the mask and snorkel, which is removable. Um, and underneath is basically just a, a motorcycle helmet or a spaceman helmet, whatever you want to call it. But um, this is our Lego City figure from this four-pack. And let's take a look at the last two. Okay, the third character we get is Lightning Lad. This is a DC Comics character. Um, this is a superhero that I'm not familiar with, so forgive me for not expounding on the character himself. But uh, as you can see, he's got a really nice print on his torso and his legs. Um, he's got uh, some pretty strong abs, it looks like. He's got a, a utility belt with a pouch, some boots, and that lightning theme uh, goes down onto his legs as well blue gloves and he has a kind of a nice tattoo print on the side of his arm um, on his back we have some more muscular print and a couple more pouches on his utility belt um, he's got uh, kind of a nice hair piece kind of a uh, nougaty color a, a reddish brown um, his face here is uh, pretty good I don't know if it's just me or if those eyebrows almost look a little bit like lightning, um, but he's got a nice kind of wry smile on his face. There is an alternative face on this guy, and that is a, whoops, a bit more angry. Uh, it's kind of tough to make out on camera. Hopefully it'll look better on your screen than it does on mine, but um, he's got... Uh, some sort of, I guess, a mask kind of thing over his eyes, um, and his eyebrows are more pronounced, and he's got a kind of a wild, angry grin on his face. Um, but overall, I think this figure was pretty well done. Um, again, I'm not terribly familiar with the character from the DC Universe, but uh, the figure itself is, is not too bad. So we've got uh, one more to look at here, and he is from Kaima, so let's take a look at him. All right, and finally, we have Sir Fangor, I believe is how you pronounce it, uh, from Kaima. He is the leader of the Sabretooth tribe. Um, he's got a nicely detailed print on his torso and legs, um, and a, a nice, I guess you'd call it a helmet piece that has also got printing on it. If you take the helmet off, whoops, there's that weak stand again. Um, reveals his uh, full face there, which uh, is kind of interesting. He's got one, two, three. I don't know if that's supposed to be blood on it or what's going on there, but um, as you can see, he also has a cape. This is one of the older style, the weak, almost paperish kind of capes. Um, and as you can see, it gets wrinkled. So when uh, you put them back in the box in that kind of molded, uh, place uh, it pinches on the cape and that gives it this kind of wrinkled look um, so unfortunately that's that <laughs> um, as you can see here he's got some nice printing on the back of his torso as well uh, some armor there um, if you are a fan of the uh, Kaima series um, then you'll notice something a little bit different about this character, and that is that he has been healed. Um, in the original, he has um, some armor on his uh, uh, right leg and his left arm, and he has shoulder pauldrons, and he's got some blue armor that cover him, and, and he's got some, some fairly serious wounds. And in this particular instance, he is cured. So that is why you don't see that armor here.
here. Um, he does not come with any accessories besides the helmet and the cape. There's no weapon of any kind or anything like that. Um, of course, he does come with a stand. Um, but that is Sir Fangar, or Fangor, F-A-N-G-A-R. Not sure how you pronounce it. Um, but in any event, that is the fourth minifigure in our set. And he just sits right in there. See, the stand just popped right off. Um, so we've got him and our city diver, Kai from Ninjago, and Lightning Lad from DC Comics. So that has been our look at uh, this Target exclusive minifigure uh, box set uh, that uh, was available during the holidays. It may still be available at Target.com. It was $9.99 at retail, um, but uh, it may be available on the secondary market if it's too late to get it through Target. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments for us, please leave them below. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and if you happen to have your own LEGO uh, channel, please leave the name of it in the comments and we'll check it out. Until next time, take care.